Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve, and uh, in today's video, we'll have a look at how to make this shot a little bit more exciting. So as you see, we have here my friend Jasper entering the room, and um, we have this poster in the back, and I do not really like that at all, and I want to remove that. And actually, I want to remove that without going into Fusion. So the first thing I'll need to do is to go to the color tab here, and then right click, and then I'll just grab a still, and then I will export that out of DaVinci Resolve. And uh, I'll just put it somewhere uh, on my computer here. Okay, whatever, and then I will save this as a TIFF and export that out. And what I want to do now is I'll go to Photoshop and change some things in there and I'll come back when I have done that. I'll just talk you to it very fast. So here we are back from Photoshop and what I have here is a PNG file and on the PNG file I have from the image I exported, I have cut the, some parts of that out and I've put in um, a picture in the frame, which is the poster from a movie I did a year ago or so. And I want to use that. So I'll just put that in top of the clip here and um, let's just bring it down to video track two. And now it's here. And as you can see, it will work very well as long <laughs> as, as he don't really move along here. So we have to fix this thing so he can actually do that movement. So what we'll do here is first off, I want to blend it into the footage here. So first off, I'll go into the color tab here and I will blur out the image a bit so it isn't so noticeable. And as you see now, I of course have here a line because I blurred it. And the way we'll fix that will be to go to the color and um, let's go to the windows and I'll just draw a mask around it here. So just put down a line here, try to make it fit somehow, something like that. First, I'll just do a quick shape around it. Whoa. Okay, one sec. And I'll just do this shape around here. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so now that is done. I'll just feather it in a bit as well. Uh, actually, let's just take off the mask so we can see wh how much we need to feather things. So I'll do a bit of the inside and uh, some outside, and I'll soften the image a bit or the lines a bit until I think it looks just fine. And you can tweak this as long time as you want, but I think this looks kind of okay. So Here we go. So let's uh, put on the line again here because we want to do something because of course we want to make our mask a little bit smaller so his hand will not um, touch our mask. So now I'll just cut my image right here instead and that's fine. So now you see it'll still do that of course because we need to do one very important thing here and that is to go over here, right click and then add a alpha output and then just drag this line to the blue dot and now it should be just fine. So as you see now, there's no issues with his hand at all. So here he has, he comes in, he says hello and that's just fine and dandy but let's make this shot a little bit better because this shot was just shot on a tripod and it's uh, very static and let's make it a little bit better. So let's first off highlight our two clips here and then just uh, right click and then just do a new compound clip and I'll just create a new one. Don't doesn't matter what it's called. And what I want to do now is I want to go to the inspector and I want to go to the transform and in the position I absolutely want to put in First of all, I want to have my output blanking. I want to make it look a little more filmic. Then I want to go back to the transform and I will put in a, a start here with the keyframe. I'll go into the middle. And as my friend Jasper here is in the middle of the shot around here, I want his face to be 
not up in the black bar. So I'll just move down the position as so. And then I'll go to the end of the clip because I don't want the camera just to stop there. I want it to move continuously. So I'll just move the camera a little more. So this is what we're actually going to have now. So, and I think this is pretty good. You don't really notice that I put in the poster in this way. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.